Since you last joined us on Tunnel Vision, we've hit some major milestones on the Super Sewer project. We're excited to say that all underground construction has been completed. The tunnel beneath the River Thames is fully built, stretching from west all the way to East London. We've lifted and placed London's biggest manhole cover, tapping off the last and deepest shaft located at Abbey Mills. We've also connected the Thames Tideway Tunnel to the existing Lee Tunnel, creating one linked system. So you might think our work here is done. So what happens next? Stick with me and you'll find out. I'm Kieran and this is Tunnel Vision. Since we began tunnelling in 2018, thousands of people have been busy working beneath your feet, constructing our gigantic tunnel to intercept sewage overflows. The underground engineering may be finished, but there's more to do as we get closer to cleaning up the River Thames. I'm at Victoria Embankment, one of Tideway's most visible sites at the heart of the capital, right opposite the famous London Eye. Just over there, beneath our site, is a 54 metre deep shaft that connects the existing sewer system to the new tunnel. We're also creating new embankment spaces, part of which will flood at high tides and where Londoners will have the chance to dip their toes in the river. These new pocket parks will be a visible legacy of all that's gone on below ground. But that's just another exciting part of the Tideway story. Let's head along the river to our Blackfriars site where I'll be speaking to Natalie Weevil, Head of Communications at Tideway. Thank you for joining me here today, Natalie. Could you tell us a bit about the site that are opening? Yeah, sure. So as we move through the programme, we've got these pieces of new public land. One of the things that we're trying to do is get these spaces open as soon as we can so that people can come down to the river, enjoy the terraces, sit there and look at the new pieces of art that we've created. There's still quite a lot of work going on at the moment, but as soon as these pieces are ready, we'll have them open for Londoners to enjoy. You mentioned about the art at some of our sites. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So one of the things that we've done on Tideway is um, a whole programme of public art. So for example at Putney you can see the oars that have been made and created really highlighting that connection between that site in Putney, the rowers and the river and all the good things that come with it. Do you have a personal highlight, a personal favourite? There are so many good pieces of art and we're still seeing some of them be created. So here at Basel Jet Embankment we've got these amazing art installations by Noth and Coley. What we're anticipating is that the public will come along and they can stand alongside these, lean back, relax, use them as performance spaces. It's just a really interesting way for people to engage with the space here that we're creating at Belzer Jet Embankment. And looking forward, can you tell us a bit about what is next on the project? There's a lot of work going on um, to connect up the existing sewerage network with the new tunnel. So a lot of the systems are being created so the tunnel can be activated and managed remotely. Day by day, we're one step closer to really getting the sewage out of the river and cleaning up the River Thames. We should have uh, a position where we can say London's river is now protected for future generations and Tideway has done its job of cleaning up the river and reconnecting London with the River Thames. As Natalie said, with underground construction complete, we're now shifting our focus to system testing. But how does that work? Well, let's take a look at a snazzy animation. London has a combined sewer system, meaning the same pipe carries both sewage and rainwater during storms. This storm sewage can fill the existing sewer to capacity and overflow into the Thames. Our tunnel will intercept these flows at 22 locations along the river, diverting them for treatment at Beckton, where a pumping station pumps out the sewage causing the tunnel level to drop until it empties and returns to dry conditions. To explain more, let's use our Blackfriars Bridge site as an example. At this site, we're intercepting sewage at two locations, from the Victorian Northern Lower Level 1 sewer and from the Old River Fleet beneath the bridge itself. When it starts raining, any excess storm sewage from the existing sewer will flow over a wheel wall into the interception chamber into the dedicated connection culvert. From there, it flows through the open penstocks, flat valves, and towards the drop shaft to the main tunnel below the river. Meanwhile, storm sewage from the fleet overflow is intercepted beneath the bridge into a second culvert and directed to the shaft. All of these structures need to be tested and monitored as part of the commissioning process. To learn more, let's hear from Jad. The tunnels itself are pure concrete and shafts, whereas the, the control systems are the pen stocks, the air management systems. We're now bringing all of those elements together. We're going to test in the first instance in the dry. 
We're recording that through the control systems. We're managing alarms, monitoring alarms, that something could happen in the west affecting something in the east. The storms are varied. They don't appear in the same sort of area. So the whole system is being monitored that way. We'll see in real time also the benefit of those sites coming online very, very quickly. We had a, a fill of the Lee Tunnel a couple of weeks back. That was the first time that the, the London Tideway Tunnels were used, connected together. And potentially we saved uh, a lot of CSO going into the river. And as we start bringing sites online, the Londoners see that benefit very, very quickly. So in terms of where we are now, we've got CSOs connected at Abbey Mills. We're going to progressively start bringing on sites and we start testing in the wet with the flows coming into the tunnel. So we're going to have the control system behind me telling me exactly what the system is doing. The operators in Beckton, where the main control room is, will be operating the system. If we ask them to do certain things, they'll be able to do that. Is there a potential problem coming up? So you can actually see the system reacting quite quickly. So we're now looking at over 21 kilometers it's been a great journey, so I've gone from inception to commissioning on a project that's cleaning up the river, so I'm really excited about that. When we test the system, flows were into the super seal for the first time, meaning our goal of cleaning up the river terms is already beginning. As we get closer to being fully operational, we've been highlighting some of the dedicated team on this extraordinary project by meeting the people behind the tunnel. You can watch more on the Tideway YouTube channel where you'll find many more videos about the Super Serial project. That's it for this episode. Like, subscribe, comment and share and join us next time on Tunnel Vision.